we're going to move on to recognizing our graduates. And I'm going to hand the podium over to Sarah Martin, as I mentioned, our coordinator. Call everyone up, and if you'll just, uh, when your name is called, join us. Um, the first is Lauren Beaudry, who has not only earned her Master of Science in Global Health, but has also earned a Master's Degree in Nursing during her time at Duke. She conducted her fieldwork in Sri Lanka and wrote her thesis on aging and mental health in South Asia. Madeline Bakuzi conducted fieldwork in Laos and wrote a paper titled Understanding Challenges in HIV and Malaria Supply Chains in the Lao People's Democratic Republic. <laughs> Zhao Chen Dai conducted his fieldwork in Tanzania and focused his project on malaria trends and diagnoses in rural health facilities in Tanzania. Devarati Das conduct, conducted her fieldwork in Sri Lanka and wrote a paper titled Exploring Physician, Physicians' Perspectives, Perceptions of Registered Medical Officers in Gaul, Sri Lanka. <laughs> Alison Drew conducted fieldwork in Cambodia, where she focused on strategic evaluation of the TB care SMS system in that country. <laughs> Libby Jones conducted fieldwork in Sri Lanka and wrote a thesis on exploring the attitudes and perceptions of assistant and registered medical officers on their role in the healthcare delivery system. <laughs> Sydney Jessman set a high standard for Master of Science students as the first student working with a new collaborator in Argentina and wrote a paper on migration, social network influences, and adolescent pregnancy. Jacob Korowitz conducted his field work with tuk-tuk drivers in Sri Lanka and explored their health concerns. Mariana Kruger conducted field work in Haiti and is finishing a paper on the effectiveness of self-collected vaginal swabs and HPV screening in those uh, women. Alexandra Kyermatin was part of our first twinning efforts at DGHI, working with a Kenyan student and, a stu um, and in Durham on a project focused on the interaction between social support and coping in HIV-positive women in two communities. Chris Lamb worked under the guidance of DGHI collaborators at the George Institute in Beijing, China on a project looking at compliance of first-line anti-hypertensive medications in elderly in Tibet. <laughs> Shang Lu worked in Iquitos, Peru on a project focused on mother's early age of marriage and its, its ability to predict malaria in children. Maya Peleg, who earned a joint 
JD, Master of Science in Global Health this year, completed a US-based US global health project focused on the evolution of mental health courts and recidivism rates for mentally ill criminal offenders. <laughs> Shivam Punja, who conducted fieldwork in India, focused his project on establishing a framework to assess the cost effectiveness of a folic acid intervention. Jennifer Rackliff, who conducted fieldwork in Rwanda, wrote a strong paper on the relationship between child and adolescent physical and sexual abuse and self-efficacy as an adult among HIV-positive substance abuse users in the United States. <laughs> Matthew Sobranik, who also worked with the George Institute in China, and in Durham, wrote a paper on medical students in both countries and their lifestyles. <laughs> Rishi Sen, who conducted fieldwork and sang karaoke in Eldoret, Kenya, <laughs> explored, <laughs> explored the contribution of influenza to pediatric fever at Waboya District Hospital. <laughs> Nikki Georgie Walther, who is also part of the first twinning collaboration between DGHI and Moy, wrote a paper on health among United Methodist clergy in uh, Kenya and North Carolina. And finally, Fan Yang, who crossed multiple and cultural and linguistic barriers in her fieldwork in Haiti, explored health beliefs, decision making, and contraception use in Laogon. I offer my congratulations to all of you. You've been truly impressed me and all of us with the quality and diversity of your research and field work, and we wish you the best of luck. Okay, working our way to the end here. The Outstanding Student Award is given each year in recognition of a Master's of Science and global health student who has excelled in the classroom, in the field, and as a community builder at Duke. Choosing the recipient of this award is always a challenge, and this year was no different, but one student rose to the top of that list. Madeline Bocuzzi hit the ground running when she started in the program in August 2011. Within a month, she was involved in global health activities across Duke, both for her own enrichment and collaboratively with her peers to raise the visibility of global health issues on campus through activities such as World Pneumonia Day and others. She excelled academically, taking courses in, across both the global health and public policy schools, impressing faculty along the way. Though her fieldwork and research did come together a little late, Madeline ended up working with Dr. Shen Lang Tong and his colleagues in the World Health Organization's re regional office in Laos, looking at supply chain management. And this notably was what she'd wanted to do all along. Her paper was excellent and is moving forward to publication. Perhaps most importantly though, Madeline has helped shape and encourage the next cohorts of the Master of Science program. And as I mentioned before, she as much as anyone is responsible for their tremendous success uh, that we've had in this year's uh, recruitment. In her service as an admissions ambassador and student recruiter extraordinaire, she became a respected authority on why Duke was a good choice for students of all backgrounds interested in global health, and she pushed program staff and faculty to improve how we work with students. Madeline Bacuzzi truly exemplifies the leadership characteristics that we hope to see in our students, and with that, we are thrilled to award her the Outstanding Student Award for 2013. Please come up and accept your award.
So that concludes our program for this morning. We hope you will enjoy the remainder of the commencement weekend and the formal Duke ceremony on Sunday. Please enjoy dessert and coffee and each other's company for a little longer. All students are requested, that means you should be, uh, <laughs> for a 1 p.m. photo, uh, meet over where Brian C.V. is standing, if you wish to raise your hand. There is also a small card in your folio where you can indicate your email address because we do want to keep touch with you through whatever mechanisms that social media allows us. And please leave that with us before you head out and know that we are interested in watching and celebrating your progress in the future. So congratulations again to our graduates of 2013.